Hey, good evening. Um, as usual, I've been inspired to do this um, video as a result of a recent transaction I've been uh, overseeing uh, with some buyer clients of mine. They're buying a lovely home that we reviewed um, the comparable homes before we put it in our offer and uh, negotiated back and forth with the seller and finally came to an agreement to move ahead. The seller uh, came down more than they said they wanted to come down, which no seller wants to come down, but they're usually prepared to come down some. And then um, the buyers came up some, you know, we kind of met in the middle-ish, okay? And uh, so in this particular case, the house has many upgrades and that uh, most, well, actually really almost all the new construction that aren't custom built don't have, okay? And just different level of fixtures, countertops, um, lighting, uh, built-ins, appliances are all just, you know, higher end. So anyway, so we got to a place where we were willing to move ahead. Now, the interesting thing with these um, situation and appraisals in general, what I'm going to share with you is that the appraisal came in low, okay? And of course, the buyers are always excited if the appraisal's low because it's like, yes, yay, you know, I get a better deal, right? Or that wasn't worth what I was paying for it. Well, interestingly, the, um, the appraisal, when you get an appraisal done, you're to compare the property, the subject property, to other properties in the neighborhood, okay? Um, I, I liken it to, I say, Look, if I've got an orange, I'm gonna compare it to a couple different oranges. It might be a little bit uh, bigger, a little bit sweeter, a little, you know, like how does it compare to other oranges, right? Um, but um, oddly in this interesting situation, they compared um, the subject property to properties in two different neighborhoods, one of which didn't even have the same school district, which is very strange. And the only time when you do that in an appraisal is if you have to go outside your market area because there's a shortage of comparable homes. Okay, when there's a shortage of comparable homes, right, then the mortgage companies will give permission and, you know, and the appraisers, by the way, are watched over by the federal government and um, they can get audited and they're not really interested in uh, appraising homes improperly because they can lose their license. And um, so it's not like we motivate them or we can say, hey, can you bump it up a bit? They're not gonna put their neck on the line for anybody. Um, you know, even if they're a friend, you know, they're not going to stick their neck out for you to appraise the house at the price you want. They're just not. So anyway, interestingly, when it comes to appraisals, you know, you have to have the same neighborhood, okay? And um, similar features, similar size. You know, there's, uh, I did take a additional course on valuation that's kind of a realtor's course for understanding appraisals. And um, I don't pretend to be an appraiser, but I have called and talked to appraisers countless times and not to change the deal um, not to manipulate not to get my way but in order to better understand why the appraisal came in at what it came in at right um, there was a time when I called an appraiser and I was like hey look I checked these comps and these are the comps I used and you know we're putting on a metal roof and where did I go wrong and the appraiser goes oh yeah okay those comps are okay and oh I forgot about the metal roof <laughs> So, you know, you don't have to be afraid to just graciously say, hey, can you help me understand how you came to this value? How did, how did you have it this high or this low? I'm kind of curious, you know. Sometimes you already know, it's pretty obvious, right? Um, but something to understand as well, buyers oftentimes, you know, um, when the appraisal comes in low, they're like, yeah, well, you gotta come down, Mr. Seller, the appraisal's low, right? But sometimes, you know, if the appraisal's high, I, I sometimes, you know, like, think to myself and say to buyers sometimes like, hey, if, if the appraisal comes in high, do you want to let the seller know and then just say we're going to change our price to pay more because the appraisal is higher? <laughs> buyers like, no, I don't want to tell them that the appraisal is higher. I don't want to pay more, right? But we're so quick to <laughs> make sure we pay less, right? If, if that comes up. Um, oftentimes, uh, not often, but sometimes in new construction, you know, uh, the question will be asked, Mr. Seller, what if the property doesn't appraise? Are you going to sell it for the appraised value? And the seller says, well, what if it appraises for more? Will you agree to pay more? And the buyer's like, no, I don't really want to do that. So it's pretty funny. <laughs> um, 
No, they do actually. We are allowed to talk to appraisers about um, about the appraisals that come in. We're not allowed to question or um, manipulate or anything like that, but we are certainly allowed by um, rules and regs to talk to appraisers. Uh, but the interesting thing is, if you as a seller um, get a funky appraisal, you do have the right to look into having that revisited. I mean, if, if, if there are certain rules and regs, okay, they have to be in the same neighborhood, they have to be similar size, they have to be similar layout. I mean, if there's four bedroom, three baths in the home, then if there are four bedroom, three bath homes in your neighborhood that are comparable, then you use those. You don't use a different one without that extra bathroom, okay? Um, and we also have to remember when you're buying a home, like let's say you updated your home or you put in a pool, okay? Um, or your home is older and the market's changed. All because you put in 50 grand of updates or upgrades, okay? That does not equate an additional $50,000 on your sales price. Sometimes it does, maybe maybe, maybe it does. Maybe the market changed or maybe your home was old, you got a good deal on your home and the market shifted and you're able to get that 50 grand out. But some of the things that I learned in the valuation class is, let's say you put in a 30, $40,000 pool well, it might only have a, um, uh, they'll give you $10,000 on that on your value of your home, okay, compared to other homes. Okay, they're not going to give you the full forty grand that you spent to put that pool in. Um, sometimes if you have an additional bath, uh, back when I was studying, it was like $5,000 per additional full bath, okay, of value. Um, uh, how close are private appraisers to county tax assessors? You know, Ryan, it varies from neighborhood to neighborhood and, and locations of where you live. Uh, I can know that the previous home I lived in, I know that the market value is really about 265 ish and the city had us um, assessed and appraised at 330. <laughs> so it was interesting because I was like, how do they get 330? I mean, I, you know, like that's crazy. Um, and another thing to understand too, when it comes to appraisal, um, you're talking about the city now, now you got me on a tangent. Uh, there was a situation where there was a house taxed here and this is not appraisal appraisal, like buying a house appraisal. I'm talking about appraisal to deal with tax issues, meaning how do you contest your taxes? Okay. Um, I had a client whose house was next door to mine and it was like the, ta uh, the county had it at 300,000 and, and it was a total wreck. I mean, like the air conditioner was messed up. It was it was like never upgraded or updated. I mean, it was a total mess. And I just, I just she said, what do I do? I mean, I'm paying taxes on like $300,000. I said, well, just get an appraiser. Say, can you get an appraiser? Can you please appraise my house? And so she had a guy appraise her house and he took pictures and everything. And that was, um, his appraisal didn't even take into consideration some like $3,500 worth of plumbing and another like $3,000 worth of foundation work, okay? So she took the appraisal down to the city and showed them all the pictures and said, hey, look, this house is like not worth 300,000. It's just, it's just this. And the city said, okay, we'll lower it to 230. So um, I don't know how to, I hope you can lower your taxes by showing, proving that your home is um, worth what it's worth, but uh, you're not guaranteed they're gonna accept it even if it's true even if you have a, an appraisal and we weren't even like we weren't even like trying to manipulate we didn't even tell the appraiser hey can you appraise it low so not, not like he would but I'm just saying we didn't even say like hey we're trying to get our taxes down we just said can you give us an honest opinion on this house right and so that was a little shocking um, so back to when you buy and sell a home the appraisal is a big deal okay Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, you're so excited when that appraisal comes in low, but you're not willing to pay more when the appraisal comes in high. Okay, the appraisal is to protect, you know, people from overspending, you know, really to pay within reason. And the mortgage companies don't want to um, overspend on their investment, right? They want to make sure they get their money out of their investment. Okay, another thing that I was thinking about, hold on one second, you would only want to do that if you don't plan on selling. Probably, you know, I mean, because if you're selling, you're not going to worry about your taxes, you know, Ryan. Um, you know, it's not going to mean anything to you if your taxes are high. Um, another thing when it comes to the appraisal that I was thinking about, what was it? Um, I know this is kind of long, 
was um, oh my goodness I blanked you would only yes only if you don't plan on selling that's correct so then there was um, anyway so we talked about the the appraisal when you buy and sell coming in high coming in low right for financing um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and, and then a good question was asked. They said, well, how do I know that, you know, the the lender or the seller isn't gonna like be friends with an appraiser that does the appraisal on their house? And I, um, just so you understand that when the bank orders the appraisal, they it goes into a, um, like a, a, a circuit, you know, like a, a lottery, you know, and they put it out there and they don't know where that, it's like roulette, you know, that, it's gonna spin and then it lands on whatever appraisal. The The lender doesn't know who it's gonna be, the bank doesn't know who it's gonna be, the selling agent doesn't know who it's gonna be. And let's say hypothetically, the seller or selling agent knows who the appraiser is, It that appraiser is not gonna put their line, neck on the line to make their friend happy. They're just not gonna do it. Um, I've had homes that came in low and I knew the appraiser and I was on good terms and friendly with them and they liked me and I liked them, but they weren't going to make my appraisal higher. <laughs> I just called them and said, hey, appraisal's low. Can you explain to me why? And I'd like to explain to my clients and they told me and then I explained it to my clients. So, um, yeah, no, no appraiser is going to come in and like change it for their buddy. It's just, and if they do, they're crazy, <laughs> but that's not how it works. Um, you would only want to do that buyer doesn't want to pay more. No, the buyer doesn't want to pay more. I mean, and, and the thing is, you don't have to tell the seller if your appraisal came in higher. You know, you can just go, yeah, we appraised. You don't say, oh yeah, we appraised for two, four. I just had one come in like, let's see, 15 grand more. 15 grand more. I had one come in at 15 grand more. Now, were we going to tell the seller? Definitely not. <laughs> we're not going to tell the seller. Um, I had one, you know, I told my client, that one came in low. I said, you better be prepared to cover your closing costs if it comes in low. And sure enough, it came in low. I didn't think it would come in that low, but it did. Um, but I told my clients to be prepared for it. Yeah, so um, anyway, it's it's unfortunate. Um, you know, if an appraisal is is off, you know, in the sense that, you know, when you see an, an appraiser uh, saying, okay, you're orange, I'm comparing it to an apple over here and a pear over here when you've got like a whole bag of oranges next next to you and you're going, why are you comparing me to those? I'm not, not an apple or a pear, you know, like I'm an orange, you know? And it's just like, what do you do? You know, like hopefully you have a good agent who's gonna say, yeah, this is not right. This is not how this is supposed to go. That's like basic 101 understanding evaluation that, that you just, you, don't, you stay in your neighborhood, right? That's number one, okay? So, um, and you stay within a, you know, a certain size and certain features, so. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Um, have a great night. <laughs> that was long, but there's a lot of information. <laughs>